Okay, so the spring of a 1500 kilogram car compresses 4.4 meters, millimeters, when 64 kilogram driver gets into the driver's seat. The car is around the frequency of, the oscill frequency of oscillations of more damping. Okay, so yeah, we'll do. I have a problem with that. I went over too. Oh, uh, yeah. I was going to ask once I got done with this. I'll, so okay. I'll, I'll pay attention to this one. Okay. If that's all right. Yeah, let's, yeah, we can work through this one. So I know this is the frequency equation. Yep. Yeah. Well, K. K is um, okay, like the know. spring constant. Well, like, do they give it to us? No, they don't give it to you. So, okay, I'll just, here, I'll just get this one up here. So you have to solve for that one. So, like, okay, so we have frequency. That's what it is, right? You can write that, okay. Okay, so we have like the mass of, well, we have the mass of the car is like, what is it? 1500 kilograms. Yeah. And it's compressed. 4.4 meters. And he's mass of the car is big in. Or 4.4 million meters. Okay, well, so meters is. So you want meters? And then the, li and then the person's like, what was it, 60 or 50 something? 64. 64, okay. Okay, so, yeah, we don't have K to solve for frequency, right? right. So what we want to do is we just want to use, like, Hooke's Law to solve for it. So when you have, like, the car sitting here, it's like springs are at a certain place. Would the force be the car and the person type gravity, or just... You know, um, just the person. Just the person. Yeah. That's what's changing it. Is that what yeah, exactly. Because the only when the person gets in, that's what's changing oh, the spring. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're assuming when the car's on it to equilibrium. So, so it'd just be the mass times the gravity. Yep. Like so get the force. Yeah. So it'd be like sixty four times negative nine point eight equals negative. So those would just become positive. K is what you're solving for, and then you change of x, which is four point four times ten to the negative third meters. That's that. Oh, that's a light version. And then once you solve for k, you can just plug it into this equation. Um. Yeah. So once you get that, just plug it into here. Except now, since we're talking about the frequency of the car and the person, like together when they go over bump. No. You want to add the two together, so you take the mass of the of the car yeah. plus the mass of the person, because that's what's like oscillating, is the whole system. Yeah, and the unit should just be in hertz. What's the units for k? K is um, newtons divided by meters. Yeah. And is it supposed to be something huge? Um, the K. Normally, yeah, K yeah, should be K should be pretty big. Cause oh, yeah, well, at least for a car springs, cause like, oh, that like sense. that's yeah, you need a lot of weight to like push it down. Like it requires a lot of force to. It'd be bad if the car just. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You want big springs on a on a car. So yeah, K should be pretty big. The frequency should only be like. I don't know. It shouldn't be that big. I don't think. Because you're dividing by a pretty big number and then multiplying by something pretty small here. So, 